A person is traveling, uh, particularly by air, or could be even by train, they're not able to establish the salawat standing. What can they do? So, for example, they're traveling and it's Fajr time. Uh, and they might not be even traveling in the direction of the Qibla. What do you do in that scenario? The ulama have said in that scenario, you can sit and pray. However, this is out of necessity. And from the conditions of necessity, a person must review his circumstance before accepting the concession of necessity. Therefore, the ulama have said, and there is a fasna from Lajna Daima on this, and this is very important because I feel a lot of people are relaxed on this and it is not permissible. If you are able to pray standing, then you must do so. So say, for example, your train or your plane leaves at 2 o'clock in the morning and Fajr is at 5 o'clock in the morning and you're going to arrive at the place of transit or your location, destination at 6 o'clock. Can you pray Fajr at its entry time? No, you can't because you've got time for you to establish the Salat al-Fajr in its correct manner whilst you are standing uh, and facing the Qibla. So you can't take that concession where you sit and you're not facing the Qibla. There's two, there's one condition missing and one rukun missing. The condition which is to face the Qibla and the rukun of standing is missing. However, if you are traveling at 2 o'clock, Fajr begins at 3 o'clock, it ends at 5 o'clock, you're going to reach your destination at 6 o'clock. You're not going to meet Fajr by standing. In that scenario, there's a necessity and in that scenario, you can sit and pray, even if you're not facing the Qibla. Obviously, you have to try your best to make sure that you are facing the Qibla and especially for people who are travelling in that direction towards the east I mean they are generally going to be able to face the Qibla either you're travelling to Saudi Arabia directly or you're travelling towards Asia so you can just adjust the way that you're sitting and pray sitting that way you are fulfilling the condition of facing the Qibla although you are not finishing or completing the uh, the pillar of standing which you now have an excuse for because of the necessity that we've just mentioned what about Dhuhr and Asr? What about Maghrib and Isha? And again, from the Legend of Daim and the Fatwa, they've said that this is a concession for us to combine. And if you are able to stand and combine and fulfill the conditions of the pillars correctly, then you must do so. So say, for example, you are traveling at 9 o'clock in the morning and you're going to reach to your destination at 3 o'clock. It's a six-hour flight, let's say. Okay, there's time difference as well. But let's say 9 o'clock you're leaving and you're going to arrive at your location at 3 o'clock. Salat al-Dhuhr comes in at 12 o'clock. Can you pray Dhuhr? No. Not whilst you're sitting, not whilst you're not facing the Qibla. Even if you're facing the Qibla, no, you can't. You have to wait. Uh, and if you think that realistically you are going to be able to stand and combine Dhuhr and Asr whilst meeting the conditions of the place, then you must do so. But the person has to investigate and understand his situation as well. If you've got a transit and being on transit uh, is not going to allow for you to go to the Muslim and pray, then in that scenario there is a necessity and you can, inshallah, combine, or oh, sorry, you can sit and pray in the manner that we have uh, talked about. How do you sit and pray? The Messenger of Allah has been described, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, from the hadith of Anas and Jabir and others from the companions, that he used to bow his head low to signify the ruku, and he used to bow his le- head even lower to signify the sujood. Uh, and some of the ulama have said that if you are able to stand for the takbirat al-ihram and then sit down, that is also something which is good. Uh, these are from the ahkam of how to sit and pray. We don't have the time to talk about right now. That is something that you would probably study in your fiqh lessons. But this is an answer to the question that we've got here. I'm due to travel on Umrah and the flight leaves at 10 a.m. and I land at 8 p.m. Saudi Arabia. This means that I will miss the prayers. What do I do? We've answered that question now. Alhamdulillah, we ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that he makes this as a trip which is beneficial for him and the Muslims.